vocal box in the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. This four note shape will instantly transform your guitar solos. Let's first look at the four note box within the E minor pentatonic scale. I have that root note in red on the diagram because it's so important to know that, that home bass note. This four note box alone can go a long way with some great sounding solos. And it's just a small piece of the pentatonic scale right in the center of the scale. Now looking at a four note box in the E major pentatonic. Again, I have the root note in red here in the diagram because it's you need to know where that home bass note is because you're you're writing that during a, a track like this. We're we're trying to solo over an E7, A7, and B7. And I'll leave a link for this backing track. It's a fun track to improvise over. All right. These two four note boxes, it doesn't look like much as I show them to you here, but I did that whole intro with just those two boxes, focusing on the root of each, each little box. Little half bends. So if we take the, the root note in the ninth fret of the G string, this E note, do a half bend on 11, then go to 11, back to the root note. That just gets the groove going by itself. And, and when you're in the minor for the four note box here, this is where you want to write, you want to, you want to go back down. So a basic way to improvise is is literally just using those two four note boxes, but I'm gonna expand on this coming up, but check this out. Over the chord changes, this, this sounds great. It, it helps you with your phrasing because you're not trying to play over an entire uh, scale. You don't hear none of that in my playing because I'm just using some notes within that scale, trying to create phrases using some simple bends and pull-offs just to create, uh, just to say something as, as you play a solo. Again, a, a half note bend here on 14 of the G string. And then hitting 14, 12, back to the root on 14 of the D string. Here, two completely different sounds, but they sound great together because you're, uh, uh, blues and rock players for decades have been mixing these scales together so getting some of this in your playing is going to take you a long way. But we want to go farther with this. I'd like to look at these four note boxes in the lower octave and the upper octave. Let's take the minor pentatonic first. The box I already showed you is focused on the root note here in the 14th fret of the D string. But if we look at the root note here in the 12th fret of the E string, start another box. D, E, G, A. Same thing here. D, E, G, A. High octave. D, E, G, A. Playing phrases in each one. You 
visualizing these three boxes. <laughs> same thing with the major pentatonic. Four note box there I already showed you with the root note in the ninth fret of the G string, but the, there's also another E note here in the seventh fret of, of the A string. Another box right there. Again, octave up. couple examples. It's almost an endless amount of phrasing and you're in it sounds like you're saying something because you're not playing up and down a scale that's what's so useful about this four note box shape you see it taught on so many YouTube lessons just grasping that you can play and sound good with four notes and again this this I'm showing you in this area of the fretboard <laughs> Once you find a root, these boxes are everywhere. There's a root note in the second fret of the D string here, an E note. The same thing. If you can get this under your belt, you're going to be playing up and down this fretboard with confidence, I promise you. This is a simple concept, but can really make you sound advanced if you play from the heart. Uh, just those few, the, the four note boxes, you can create some great sounding guitar licks. Thanks for stopping by the channel, and let's talk soon.